today we're going to learn English with the song Jealous Guy by John Lennon. We're going to learn what I think are, are the important words from the song that you can understand uh, the lyrics and that you can use in your day-to-day -day life. And we're going to look at the past continuous tense. So a little bit of grammar as well, how you can uh, understand that and how maybe you can use that again in your day-to-day -day life. Listen out as well for the answer to the question, what was the original title of this song? Okay, are you ready? Then let's sing. Jealous guy. Number one is beating. Beating. In the song it talks about the heart beating and this is really the movement of the heart or the sound of the heart, yeah, that the heart beat. You can feel my heart beating and you find this in a lot of songs, especially love songs, pop songs, rock songs. You really find this, this word a lot. My heart is beating, or my heart is beating fast. Okay, maybe not that fast. That's a bit dangerous. Number two is lose control. Lose control. In this context of the song, it means that you start to go a little bit crazy. 
Okay, so I lose control. I lose control of my feelings, of my thoughts, of my actions, and I start to go a little bit crazy. Just lose control. Number three, jealous. Jealous is, well, it's in the name of the song, but also you find it in the words from the song. Jealous means that I have a bad feeling because somebody I love, maybe in my case, maybe my wife or my girlfriend, um, is is with another person and I think that she loves this other person uh, and so I feel jealous. So it's this feeling, okay? Uh, again, you find this often in love songs. It's quite a dark feeling. It's not a nice feeling to have. So it's not like being in love. It's really uh, a really bad feeling, okay, to be jealous. Number four is insecure. It's important here that we look at what is the opposite. The opposite is secure. It means safe. It means certain or sure. Okay, so when I'm secure, it means I know it. I know it for sure. I'm, I feel confident and I'm, I'm strong when I'm secure. When I'm insecure, it means I'm not certain. I'm not sure. I don't know and I don't feel strong and I, I don't feel sure that I know what is happening. I don't feel sure of myself, so I feel very insecure. Number five is might not. Might, we use to talk about when something is possible, what is possible. So I could say this evening, I might eat a pizza. I might go to the cinema. I might play some music. This means it's possible. I can do this. Maybe I will do this. Okay, so you might. In this context, it's might not. And he says, you might not love me anymore. It means here, I feel like maybe you don't love me. Maybe you don't love me. You might not love me. Okay. Number six is shivering. Oh, shivering is something that I do when I feel cold or perhaps when I'm very, very nervous. Uh, the body is shaking. Yeah. Oh, of course, it's so cold in here. I'm shivering. Oh, that really worked. It is cold in here. Shivering. <laughs> Number seven. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hurt you is, is the... Uh, in the song, the words from the song, I didn't mean to do it means it was not my plan. It was not my intention. It's not something that I wanted to do. It's not something that I planned to do. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to say that. It was not my plan. Number eight is to catch your eye or catch your eyes in this song. To catch someone's eye means that that person sees me. They notice me. Now, maybe that could be that uh, a person is walking past. And I guess in this song, this person is, is quite attractive or beautiful. And so I see them and I think, oh, wow. So this person catches my eye. But it could be anything. I could actually do something to catch your eye. When I see you... Uh, but I, you don't see me, I can wave my hand, yeah? I can wave my hand and say, hey, hello! And then perhaps I will catch your eye because you will see me waving. And number eight is swallowing. Swallowing is really what we do when we put food or water or, or, or liquid in the mouth and we, we swallow it and send it down into the stomach. This is swallowing. Okay. The past continuous tense really tells us what was happening at some time in the past. We use it very commonly, very often, with the past simple tense together to really show that two things uh, happened at the same time or that one thing interrupted another thing. For example, when I was singing the song, the doorbell rang. When I was singing the song, the doorbell rang. This really did happen just a few moments ago.
But it's a good example, I think. When I was singing, the doorbell rang. So it means that I was singing, I was in the middle of a song, and the doorbell rang. Somebody was at the door, somebody was waiting for me, somebody wanted to deliver a, a, pa a, a package, a parcel. Okay. So we have two past actions that are connected, and one that really happens in the middle or interrupts the other one. I was singing with Andrew when I learned about the past tenses. In both of those examples, which thing happened first? The singing or learning about the tenses? The singing or the doorbell, ring, uh, the doorbell ringing? Somebody rang the doorbell. Which one happened first? You're right, yeah? The, the singing happened first and the doorbell happened in the middle, it interrupted the singing. In the other example, the singing happened first and the learning, the learn about the past tenses happened in the song, during the song, uh, at the time when you were singing. In the song, John Lennon uses the past continuous tense. I was dreaming of the past, my heart was beating fast. He uses these sentences really to set the scene, to explain how he was feeling uh, at the time, to really, and in this case, it's really to give an excuse, to give a reason why he was uh, behaving so horrible. Can you find any other examples of the past continuous in the lyrics to the song?
jealous guy Watch out, I'm just a jealous guy Look out, I'm just a jealous guy Jealous Guy was originally written as another song called Child of Nature. John Lennon took the melody from the song and he changed the lyrics into a new song and that is what we now know today as the song Jealous Guy. I really hope this has been useful to you and I really look forward to the next time. Um, and in the meantime, keep singing. Come back to this video and other videos. Keep singing and keep learning. You can do it. Bye.